that he did two or three gateways and a quick tech uh, and now he tries to push out with these dealers basically his goal is uh, pu is pushing out with zealots and with this army he's planning to try and secure uh, his his natural expansion like delay me enough to get his cannons up and so on uh, over here however because I played in such a massing style uh, instead of uh, simply uh, playing economy style or something I was able to stop it stop his pressure with ease and as you can notice, I'm, I'm starting to even have a good economy. Uh, I'm not really so much behind anymore. I slowed it uh, when it comes to economy either. I mean, uh, like, I slowed his expansion down. Uh, I was able to defend against all his attacks very easily. I was a a able to force him to cannon up more than necessary. Um, and all that stuff, like, it all paid off really. And now I even have a rather good economy. At this point, I can just keep making drones and lurkers for a short while and a couple of hiders here and there. Um, I tried to attack his cannon over here since I kinda wanna take this cannon down so that my lurkers can shoot over to his nexus or his pylon and whatever else uh, slightly better. Uh, basically my goal over here is that, uh, that now that he doesn't have cannon he also doesn't have proper detection uh, against my lurkers and that allows me to possibly add a, a slightly more early game pressure. Uh, over here, however, he was able to build more cannons, and I won't really be able to do anything much to that. So, the important thing is that you do not try to push your attack too far. Like, you, you do it to some extent, and then you stop, and that's all. You you do not force the attack uh, far too, f like, way too far or anything. Like, you, you do it to one point, and then leave it be. Don't, don't like, take any useless risks or anything. Over here, I kind of hoped that my lurker would have been able to take the, down that cannon, but it didn't happen. It's too bad. Uh, however, it's not such a, such a big deal. Like, I was able to start my second expansion already, and unlike against fast expansion, it doesn't really matter so much if he gets a new expansion. Like, that. one misconception I've noticed or as well uh, with uh, some people is that they don't really... They, they think that uh, de denying one or two get expansion is like as necessary as winning the game or or something like it, it's not it, it doesn't equal winning the game or anything like like you just gotta be sure that uh, you, well one goal of yours is to do, do delay that expansion that's for sure your one goal is to d delay that expansion and the second goal is that you uh, try to slow him down yeah, enough that I uh, well, delaying and slowing down the expansion is kind of the same thing, but basically your your idea is that uh, you slow him down enough uh, and and manage around with it that uh, that you're able to get your own second expansion. Like it doesn't matter if he gets his expansion up, but in that case you're gonna need your second expansion. And in my second expansion was very quickly after he was able to secure his own. Like uh, I'm pretty sure that my hatchery started cl uh, pretty close to the same time as he started. Uh, as he started his uh, over here, I noticed that with my overlord, like this is exactly what uh, the, the difference. So, like this is how all the good players are able to be exactly where they need to be. Uh, kind of bragging, uh, yeah, I know, but uh, this is exactly how the good players know where to be and when. Like my overlord saw those zealots sneak by, and I know that he's gonna attack this expansion, and this allows me to bring my units in time, and this allows me to defend that expansion. If I hadn't no, if I hadn't had that overlord right over. The there uh, by his choke in the correct place, I wouldn't have known of these zealots at all, uh, and he would have been able to take it down. Take it down, and that's not good at all. Also, remember. Uh, also, earlier he tried to uh, take down, uh, take a new expansion. If he if he had been able to take down that second expansion earlier, which I stopped, but if he had been able to do that, then it would have me, me meant that I would have lost the game. Like it's okay if he's able to take his natural, but if he's able to double expand quickly, then it's GG unless you you already have your like fourth base coming or something. Like I, I, honestly, I don't think I would have. Uh, done so well in this game at all if uh if i had had if i had let him get that expansion like uh, i i cannot see how I, I would have won like he would have gotten so many more units i would have had nothing to fight him with and so on i also started my fourth hatchery for unit production in my main uh and so on uh and i 
like I'm, I had some extra money, so I, I made it a fourth hatchery. Um, now I'm making a second Sunga colony at this expansion as well. Uh, that's simply for the reason that uh, I know that he's probably gonna try and add a, like a zeal of pressure even later on. So I, I'm gonna try and add, I, I added the second uh, Sunga colony just to be safe from it later on. Over here, I was able to intercept a couple of zealots and a high templars. That's pretty big. Uh, I'm also now now it's pretty obvious to me that he's gonna try and get a, get that new expansion. Like it's quite clear that he he's already started that new expansion. So uh, since he tried to take it earlier, and it's mo it it only implies that he's only gonna try and take it again. Uh, so over here, I'm kind of trying to attack, but. I'll, even now, you gotta remember when to back off. You do not push your attack too far. You know you have to know when to quit. Uh, that is also one one thing that makes a great Zerg player. Like you gotta know how how to delay, delay him. Like you you gotta know when to retreat, when to attack. You cannot get greedy. You know, like being aggressive and greedy is two completely different things. Uh, as you can notice, this is all. Uh, I also tricked him. He kind of ran away with his army, like he was probably up there. He was probably expecting me to come from above, but instead I decided to sneak a group of units behind, and I was able to make him uh, cancel that nexus, which made it possible. Like it, it slowed him down a lot. And I also started now my second uh, evolution chamber. That's simply for the fact that uh, I need quicker upgrades uh, to stay in the game. Like if if something I'm gonna need quick upgrades so that I'm not gonna be behind in uh, army power. Uh, especially when when I'm finding like one base one one base start off. Like I cannot be behind in, in army power or anything too much. Uh. I also had a lot of spare gas, like I started gathering my gas at my second expansion as well, instantly, and that made me have, have a lot of gas surplus, but on the other hand I have very little minerals. However, I'm gonna need a lot of zerglings as well as hydras, and that's why I, I'm not spending every single penny of my gas, like, I figured that it's far more efficient for me to simply uh, make like 12 lurkers and have like a like as many units, uh, nor normal units, instead of having 100% lurkers, and uh, that way I'm I'm able to be more efficient with my money. Uh, basically, the idea is that if I had just normally uh, built like 20 lurkers and attacked with only lurkers, uh, of course I would have owned his army where when I first attack, but his storms and his units would take so many of my lurkers that uh, that that my money wouldn't be used efficiently at all. Like it wouldn't be very good attack at all. I would be losing in it. So instead, I decided to make a lot of lurkers all through the game instead of just one big clump of lur lurkers which I lose instantly. It's kind of hard to explain, but over here I felt like I I just simply had to use all my minerals and I couldn't use it all to lurkers and that's why I also have uh, that's why I also have like a lot of spare ga spare gas for now uh, I, I've noticed that I have a lot of spare gas and I, and I want to spend it all but over here it's simply not possible yet I will spend it however in the first possible uh, when it's uh, when it's simply possible at all. Uh, I started a little bit later, higher than usual, usual maybe, like it's already been maybe 18 minutes to the game or so, uh, how, but uh, when when you fight uh, fight a one or two base toss, it doesn't really matter if your hive is so much later, since the game kind of gets delayed. Normally, this kind of a game uh, situation could be uh, like five minutes earlier to the game, since bo both of us would have so much better economy and everything. Over here, I once again trick my opponent to think that I'm actually going to attack him from the front, and I was able to sneak a group of zerglings behind and slow his nexus once again. Like zerglings, they're pretty much free. Uh, I can make so many of them so quickly that it doesn't matter if I lose one or two groups of them. I'm also getting my fourth base up. Uh, it's, it's very necessary that I do. Um, like he got, he has his third base up and he's trying to get 